Another use of bicarb drip is with tricyclic antidepressant poisoning. And this is a common really um, problem you will see while treating in patients. And most of the time these cases are treated by the toxicologist or poison control centers. But the use of bicarb drip here is when there is cardiotoxicity or EKG changes, mainly the QRS is wider than 100 milliseconds, right? So you start bicarb drip. And the way usually they treat it is to give the same push or bolus of one to two milli equivalent per kg which is the pushes of the amp so you just tell the nurse hey give give the uh, pl please push two amps of bicarb in this patient right so you push the first amp and you should be monitoring the ekg on telemetry if the qrs is widened you don't need to push the second one if it's still wide go ahead and push the uh, second amp now that's to give pushes now let's say the patient whether he has wide qrs or no wide qrs the only difference is that with wide qrs you give one or two amps of bicarb now whether that those pushes corrected the qrs or not so don't give more than two amps and then start bicarb drip now the drip we start after pushing these two amps whether we corrected the qrs became narrow or not and whether the qrs was normal to start with so you start bicarb drip and again you could mix it with d5w the way we mentioned free water or with half an s so the more bicarb you want you go with this right so here the way you give this infusion is usually 250 mil per hour with target pH of 7.5 to 7.55. Yes, you want to make the patient alcoholic. So that's okay. So you give this with target this. So remember, every time you give bicarbonate, we need to monitor the pH, calcium, uh, potassium, monitor calcium, We'll, we'll explain why monitor sodium basically just get a, a CMP or BMP along with the ABG or you can get an, uh, an ABG with lights that will give you those information now once the AKG change is resolved or once you feel the the the, the TCA or these tricyclic antidepressant are cleared by the body you start slowing down weaning of drip right so basically qrs now is normal you start winning drip now there's different ways some say decrease by 25 percent every hour until you completely stop the drip but basically you can win over the next four to six or 12 hours and then stop the um, drip again i'll come to the point where we should stop the uh, bicarb drip if there is any adverse reaction of that but that's how we use bicarb in tricyclic antidepressant poisoning thanks for watching this video please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released glad to have you on board